Hello everyone. Welcome to our next episode on Cricket Analytics Projects series. So today's topic is a very exciting one. To start any cricket project, the first thing that you need is data, right? Because without data, you can't do anything, right? So that is what we are going to discuss, right? How to get cricket data for free in 10 different ways. So let's jump right into the video. Number 10 Crick sheet. So this by far is the most popular one amongst the one who collected data, who performed some projects. Right. So many people would have already uh, tried downloading this data, working on this data. Right. So this is a very popular one. So many people confuse uh, Crick sheet or only contains JSON data or some kind of a, a dictionary kind of data, but go to download section scroll all the way to the bottom you will get all kinds of data sets in a csv format you can look at it in your excel itself number 9 is stats guru so this is also very popular tool among cricket community as well uh, if you want any statistic about any player or any team about two teams right so in different formats that's the first option that comes to your mind is stats guru right so stats guru not only right you can view the data but you can also download the data just put that url uh, into your excel sheet you will be able to download directly as well number 8 so this is a very less known uh, source as well lot of people don't know that bcci.tv has a collection of score cards commentaries for some of the local t20 matches as well for example the one that you see on the screen said mushtaq ali trophy right so and many more even for previous editions as well right? so definitely check this bcci.tv archives page and also icc covers some of these matches as well for example if you just search for 2011 uh, odi world cup final score card you will also get hokai data as well for some of the balls right so just check icc for this kind of ball tracking data beehive or pitch map data as well number 7 is web scraping so this is something for developers right so if you are a developer who knows how how to code right so you should definitely check out couple of libraries in python so one is selenium and the other is beautiful soup right so one uh, note here is you can't do this on app but you can write your code uh, covering websites right so on the web you can definitely write a web scraper uh, right you can write it in both of these libraries number 6 cricket sites so when i say cricket sites uh, okay david we we all know cricket info cricket buzz right so do you think we are going to use any more cricket sites apart from this right so of course you should definitely check these sites out there right because each of them provides different kinds of statistics right so for example cricket metric has matchups data right right and cricket archives has some old data right so t20r which is by bigbashboard.com right so it gives rankings of different different players right so similarly others as well cricket.com sofa score how stat cricks all of them have different kinds of data you should definitely check out these websites which not only give you surface level data but they go in depth for some particular statistics as well number 5 is data sites right if you are a data person a data scientist or a data analyst you would already know these websites which you might be using for your own uh, research purpose or for learning purpose right if you are not a data person make a note of these websites there's one called kaggle which is owned by google and then there's one more called roboflow right so kaggle has all kinds of traditional data sets just search cricket in the search bar you'll get lots of data sets absolutely for free and not only data sets but you will also get to know some analysis notebooks as well you can check what kind of work these people are doing with with some particular data 
right and then roboflow is a website which also has like pictured like images data or videos data right so they've collected like for example you can do projects like batsman detection bowler detection or ball detection so these kind of projects because they would have already labeled them uh, using those images as well right so check roboflow as well right so it has pretty detailed uh, information for especially image classification or image recognition uh, projects number four it's a very simple one but very powerful one method as well it's called diy which is do it yourself right so the simplest thing is you can create your own excel sheet your own google sheet right so while you're watching the match just note down what are all the things that you are observing right so who's the bowler who's the batsman right so who's the striker non-striker right uh, and uh, what were the runs scored where was the ball pitched everything right so in fact you can record the matches and then keep populating the data that is how many of the big data companies in cricket have also started they they have each person sitting in front of TV recording the match and then manually entering the data. Then uh, they make money by selling this data as well. Of course, now they are pretty advanced. They have people sitting in the stadiums. They have softwares, everything now. But at a, at a point of time, right, so all of them were collecting data manually as well, right? And couple of additional things, right? So you can create your own website. That's why I mentioned HTML here. Uh, you can write your own code, front-end, back-end, database, everything. And you can also use something called Streamlit or Flask. Both of them are available in Python where you can ready-made uh, record the data as well. Number three, this is also a very less popular method, but very powerful as well. You should definitely check out some of these uh, Twitter handles. I will drop their links in the description below. Uh, there are people who share data sets, whether it could be some uh, CSV files or some old videos data sets or some uh, information about some unknown talent as well, right? So you should definitely check out these handles. If you know more such handles, uh, please drop them in the comments below as well. Number two, this is my personal favorite, which I've been exploring uh, for the last <clears throat> few months. So one is chat GPT, of course, uh, many of you would have heard of it. I would recommend you to try this out for cricket, right? So try to ask chat GPT some questions, right? So there's something called ask Crick info. You should uh, try that also. Ask Crick info is also uh, very popular, right? Uh, so which is similar to chat GPT as well, but chat GPT gives you much more clearer answers as well. And very underrated one, there is something called perplexity.com. AI, right? So it is very similar to chat GPT, but it is a mix of chat GPT plus Google. It gives you some sources also, and it does not have any knowledge cut off, right? So it, it has the latest knowledge available, right? So definitely check this perplexity.ai as well. It is from one of my juniors from IIT Madras. So very well built, uh, right? So check this definitely out there. And coming to the top technique, which is rapid API. So this, I was brilliantly surprised when I came across this source because I was stunned about the number of APIs available, right? So if you're a developer, you would definitely know how to test these APIs. If you're not a developer, I would recommend you to check out this website first, right? And they have some demo videos also, please check them out. Uh, you can try uh, testing these APIs using a tool called Postman, right? For example, let's say there is Crickbuzz API, right? So they will give you some key. You just have to create an account, sign up. They'll give you an API key and put these keys and just hit uh, the Postman, as I said, using that tool. You will be getting live data with just couple of clicks, nothing needed, right? So definitely check this out as well. If possible, uh, I, I could make a complete video on this as well. If you are looking for something similar, please let me know in the comments as well. And yes, we will not the end the video here. I want to give you one more bonus. Uh, thanks for staying this far. The, there's one technique uh, which you can use, which is IDM extension, right? So why do we do this? If you want to download any data, any video data, I mean, right? So full match details, like 
हॉटस्टार हैज़ मैच रिप्लेस राइट और इवन प्राइम वीडियो हैज फुल सेवन आवर मैच वीडियो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इट्स अ ओ डी आई राइट सो यू विल हैव कंप्लीट टेन आवर वीडियो इफ इट्स अ टी ट्वेंटी आई यू विल हैव फोर आवर्स कंप्लीट वीडियो राइट सो दैट फुटेज यू कैन एक्चुअली डाउनलोड यूजिंग दिस आई डी एम एक्सटेंशन वेरी पावरफुल चेक दिस आउट यू कैन फाइंड दिस जस्ट बाई गूगलिंग इट दैट्स आई हैव मैंशन अ स्नैप शॉट ऑफ हाउ यू कैन एड इट टू योर क्रोम एक्सटेंशंस सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो होप यू लाइक इट राइट सो होप दिस विल गेट यू स्टार्टेड टू डाउनलोड सम क्रिकेट डेटा राइट अवे थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो